We're in Little Rock today and that's a pretty nice view of downtown. Um, this is the view from our hotel actually across the Arkansas River. I am going to go explore the city. You can see the trusty Bronco right here. <laughs> Gonna go uh, take a look around and see what's going on here. All right, I'm crossing one of the major bridges that goes across the Arkansas River into the downtown area of Little Rock. And did you know that there is an actual Little Rock, and that's what the city's named after. Discovered by the French, it was at a spot where the river was easiest to cross, and the city sprang up after that. So I'm gonna go find that and just take a look around, see what's down here. So this is an old area of downtown Little Rock. Turn of the century buildings are on each side of me here. Well, in what looks like a modern building to the left here, Arkansas Library System. And then, uh, kind of looks like a train station. And a lot of these buildings on the right here are very old. So, real pretty down here. A lot of Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton stuff down here, which I guess is to be expected since this is where he was governor and became president. I am continuing my drive down President Clinton Avenue and I'm seeing a building up ahead on my GPS and um, it looks like it's the presidential library. So, interesting. This is a wetlands, but apparently it's getting some construction or a facelift of some sort. And you can see a good view of the old, one of the old bridges crossing the river. That of course being the Arkansas River. But yeah, this is um, the road to Clinton's library. I wonder how often he comes here. Yeah, here it is. William J. Clinton. Presidential Library. I'll do a little zoom in there may go in later I'm not sure the wife and I got a full slate this afternoon but we may try to pop in there hmm looks like it overlooks the uh, river and this bridge is actually a walkway Okay, it's not a bridge that you drive your car on. Hmm. And as you can see, we're just on the edge of downtown. I am actually underneath Clinton's library right now. I was thinking about going in and see what I could see, but they charge admission. Not that I'm against paying admission, but I'm just surprised. I thought that would be a public funded, you know, a presidential library I thought would be a public funded place and uh, I guess it's not. So there it is. But the grounds are really interesting. Um, you can see the river, the Arkansas River right here. I'm going to take a look and see what's down here. Looks like uh, something from the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> It's like a little girl with wings. Well, no. Looks like it's a memorial. Given in memory of Cindy Coates Miller. Huh. Have to look that up, see what's going on. All right, so I looked her up and um, she was a favorite daughter of Little Rock. Born here, raised here, educator. 
did a lot for the city and was a close friend of the Clintons. So that'll explain while her memorial is right here underneath President Clinton's library. Anyway, this area is really nice. You can see we're just uh, on the edge of downtown. And this is the Cindy Coates Miller, or Cindy Coates Miller Bridge. Say that fast five times. Anyway, yeah, you can see this a little offshoot from the Arkansas River. Really good view of this pedestrian bridge, which, you know what? I'm gonna go up right now, because it looks really cool. I'm up on the bridge now. Pretty nice view. It's quite, honestly, quite lovely here. Of course, there's Clinton's library. And um, as you can see, very near downtown. And this area they're developing, it's a wetlands area. Looks like it's gonna be real nice when it's finished. I'm gonna go a little farther up the uh, bridge here. It's real windy, I'm sure you can hear it. But I'm gonna go see what it looks like up here. Now as you can see, this bridge is really old. It's called the Clinton Presidential Park Bridge. And it's to represent the bridge to the 21st century. Um, I guess, you know, when he was president. Uh, view of downtown. This bridge originally was the railroad crossing into Little Rock, built in 1899. And of course now it's part of the Clinton Presidential Library. And a good view of the Arkansas River. It's pretty big, isn't it, the Arkansas River? A lot bigger than I thought it would be. A uh, major tributary to the Mississippi. It starts in Colorado, winds through several states, and um, of course, Little Rock was built on the shores. But more on that later. It's pretty awesome. Really beautiful old bridge. And the area is really nice, I gotta say. I'm underneath the main bridge crossing the Arkansas River from Little Rock to North Little Rock. You can hear the noise. <laughs> and obviously they are widening it. But I had to stop and look at some of the graffiti underneath here. That's not really graffiti, that's just scribbling, I guess. But kind of cool, these tiles that are under the freeway here. <laughs> Looks like they were watercolored by children. Oh, look at that one. <laughs> All right, Josh. Looks like a sword fighter, doesn't it? Yeah. Pretty sure these were done by children, but it's a nice decoration underneath here. Little rock. You can feel the cars with my hand here. I can feel the rattling of the cars. But, yeah, this is awesome. It's really nice. There's a rock here. I guess that's some sort of little rock signif signifier or something. What's the right word? I'm not sure, but probably something to do with the city itself, the name of it. A couple more of these here. Obviously, this is a hangout for the homeless as well. But, yeah, this is really nice. I'm gonna go check that out, of course. But this area is real nice, as you can see. Well developed. Anyway, this little rock, it's here somewhere. I wanna find it. That's the little rock down there. So I'm gonna go down there in a second. There's a guy standing in front of it right now. But, yeah, that's it. But I'm gonna go up on this bridge first.
Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, I'm right below this bridge now. Looking down, water coming out of this overflow of some sort. It disheartens me to see all this trash on the banks. All kinds of cups and stuff littered here. Makes me sad when people don't take pride, you know, in where they are. Especially a beautiful place like this. All right, so this is it. This is the Little Rock. Um, story behind it is in 1722, the then French governor of Louisiana sent, let's see, who did he send up here, it says. Sent an explorer up here to trade with the Native Americans. Yeah, La Harp was his name. And this was the spot that marked the easiest place to cross the river, the Arkansas River, and was a trail used by many of the Native Americans at the time. Also, the Trail of Tears crossed there. So there's that. But anyway, yeah, La, Pe La Petite Roche, as it's called. So this is the Little Rock that the city of Little Rock is named after. It's quiet today, but it's a Saturday, which will explain that. But, um, so far it's pretty nice downtown. I like it. well-maintained area. I mean, uh, Little Rock's pretty nice. It's not perfect, but it's a pretty nice city. I'm on the edge of downtown now. I'm going to go out to some of the neighborhoods, see what it looks like. See what the outside part of Little Rock is like. Well, I'm about two blocks out of downtown and it's lovely, isn't it? Really pretty over here. Precisely. Beautiful houses. Yeah, a lot of these houses look real pretty up here. Yeah, these are beautiful houses. Beautiful neighborhood. Well, I think I'm going to head back to the hotel and get the wife, and we're gonna go visit some places. Well, we had planned on going to the Capitol now, but it's closed, because it's Saturday, I guess. It's one of those rare Capitals that close on Saturday. So we're gonna to go to former President Clinton's presidential library. See what's going on inside there, right? right. Now politically, I'm, I'm generally lean to the right. I think my wife leans to the left here. So we're I just don't, both... I just don't lean. We're both kind of more to the middle. Interestingly though about Bill Clinton, of course, Yes, he was a Democrat president, but in today's left politics, he's really not that left, quite frankly. He's definitely center left. Um, he's nothing like the ultra left uh, politicians that you see today. He's more like uh, Manchin out of West Virginia, and um, Senator Manchin, and he, uh, he drives the ultra left crazy. But anyway, even though I wasn't a huge fan of Clinton, I think it might be interesting to see what's in here. You were saying before you said that really naughty stuff I said, <laughs> about I Clinton. Think, I said I think all of our presidents should fool around in the oh. Oval Office. Oh, they probably do. Maybe they'll you. put them in a better mood. They probably do. But uh, anyway, I am wondering if there will be any mention 
of the blue dress and <laughs> maybe they have the Monica or any of that. Display. You think there'll be any mention? I think the blue dress should be on display. Well, the first thing we see inside the library is Clinton's presidential limousine. So, pretty cool, huh? When the United States entered World War II in 1941, the only armored automobile available to the president was the car seized by the federal government from the gangster Al Capone. <laughs> That's cool. That is cool, isn't it? Yeah. All right, we are heading to the second floor. You can see the Christmas trees, Christmas time. And of course, the city of Little Rock. Where are we going next? So we are in a replica of the cabinet room, Clinton's cabinet room. Hmm. Well, it says it on the back here. Oh, it does? Of the chair, yeah. Oh, okay, duh. <laughs> Secretary of the Interior, Secretary of State. So this is where Clinton sat, right here. This is the president's seat. President's daily schedule. Wow. So you can actually look at these. That's pretty cool. You probably remember this from earlier when I showed the exterior of the library, here I am inside it. And of course there's that bridge, that old railroad bridge. Oh, we got a wire or something hanging down from the building here. <laughs> Whoa! But anyway, and then there's the Arkansas River. I tried to go outside, it wouldn't let me. But I'm gonna go up on the top floor of the library here in a minute check out what's up there. A society rooted in responsibility must provide safe streets, safe schools, and safe neighborhoods. We pursued a strategy of more police, tougher punishment, smarter prevention. Wow, somebody needs to explain that to the Democratic Party now. Because <laughs> they're all about defunding the police. It's like I said, Clinton would almost be he would almost be Republican now. Very close. So we're about to enter a full-scale, perfect replica of Clinton's Oval Office. What did you say? I'm just going to wait on you. It's oh. Kind of like a... Oh, okay. Just want to see what it looks like in here? Okay, cool. Well, they told us we can't go inside with the camera. This is as close as I can get to the Clinton Oval Office. But it looks pretty awesome. Yeah, this is the couch from Friends. It's a replica right next to Clinton's Oval Office. And uh, yes, I'm wondering, like you, why? <laughs> that makes no sense. Just because the show is popular. This is the part that juts out over the river. See downtown there. Yeah, these are just more of the more of the library. The books, you know. So this is 11-year-old Hillary. Doesn't even look like her, does it? And Hillary is a senior. Yeah. Bill Clinton's house. Remember we passed that yesterday or day before yesterday or yesterday, yeah. In hope. Bill Clinton the Yeah, this is a picture that Bill Clinton drew. I guess when he was a kid, huh? Billy Clinton. Wow, how's about that? Uh, it's from his favorite movie, High Noon. That was a good movie. Junior Deputy Sheriff, Billy Clinton. Actually, usually Democrats are for gun control. It's the Republicans that are all about, you know, yeah. the Second Amendment. That's true. Well, was it everything you thought it would be, hon? And more. <laughs> so, so much more. Yeah. I think the capital would have been more fun. Quarter mile, 
turn right onto Barber Street. Barber. We're about uh, two blocks from the Presidential Library and about what? How far? A mile from the Governor's Mansion. And ooh, it's looking a little bit rough over here, isn't it? <laughs> GPS is actually taking us to the governor's mansion. Ben, wait till you see the bad areas in Philadelphia. I look forward to that. <laughs> these areas really are not that bad, though. Some of these are okay. I'm just surprised. Look at that. Yeah, oh, look at some of those shotgun houses. Yeah. Well, I mean, like the the, the roof was all caving in, like that. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Look at these houses. Isn't that weird? That's not a house, that's a garage. That's a house. Why he lives on that? That's a garage. It's not just a garage, that's a house. Uh, Somebody lives on top of it. That's weird. That is weird, that is because very it's small. Newish, it's newish looking, yeah. it's not run down. That's what you call a tiny house, isn't it? No, or it's a garage for a really tall car. <laughs> no, that's not what it is. It's a garage for a bus, maybe they own a bus. Yeah. A double-decker bus, like in England. See, that's a little bit bigger one. Very small, though, isn't it? Yeah, very, very small. Huh. Yeah, oh. These are some odd-looking houses. Now, look at this one. I know. It's like... Sounds being worked on. Look at it. Like, all sideways like that. It's like one-third of Barbie's dream house. Yeah. <laughs> You're not a girl. You don't know exactly what Barbie's dream house looks like. Oh, how do you know? I don't guess huh. that you do know. Is that right? Maybe I do. All right, so we're approaching the governor's mansion, the Arkansas governor's mansion. Look at that house, that's pretty, huh? Yeah, wow. Yeah? That's cool looking. It is. Uh, hmm. Anyway, I think the Arkansas governor's mansion is probably the most famous in the country. Why? Because of all of at your destination. All right, Siri, shut up. Simply because of all of uh, Bill Clinton's shenanigans. Oh. And <laughs> these are houses right across the street from the governor's mansion, mm. which is right here. Huh, that's it right there. That's that's the governor's mansion? Where is, oh, well, go to the front. Arrived. Go to the, let's see the front. Is that it, or is Where's that the just front? like a... That's something else that's there. That's not right? it. That's not a mansion. I'm going to turn around and go back. Let's see. I think it was the house behind it. The house behind it? The building behind it. That's cool. Well, from yeah, there. except it looks like it's falling apart. Oh, uh, yeah. In this house. Hmm. hmm. Is the gate open? I could almost just drive in that's there, but I'm not going to. It's back there. Yeah. It's back there. It's back up there, huh? Yeah. You can't go yeah, and you can't go in there. Yeah, you can't get very close. There's yeah. the governor's mansion. Okay. Anyway, yeah, uh, you know, Clinton couldn't just couldn't stay out of trouble when he was there. <laughs> Don't you remember all the lawsuits? Of course. You can can't really see it up there. Mm. So yeah, that's why the the Arkansas governor's mansion is. God, I can't remember the name. One there of the were, famous. There were like two very well known uh, lawsuits against him. Oh, there are more than that. So some more of the houses. We we're across the street from the governor's mansion. Huh. These are big. Some of these. Yeah. Uh, wait a minute. I think there it is. There's the governor's mansion. At least the front of it. Okay. Uh, Siri okay. took us in the wrong place. That house is pretty nice. Yeah. But yeah, this is the governor's mansion right here, finally. All right. Well, it looks grand like a governor's mansion should look doesn't it oh yeah got a fountain in the front governor's okay. mansion all right guess we'll back out of here <laughs> or somebody comes after us so this person lives next door to the governor's mansion i wonder what that's like <laughs> i think that's where bill kept his girlfriends is in that house uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, maybe that house then. Maybe that's one of his old girlfriends right there. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. No, no. Could be. I'm sure. <laughs> he had plenty of them. The one I read, he's still got one. I don't think he and Hillary have had an actual marriage in a long time. Yeah, they're, they're just a political partnership, isn't it? 
It's been that way for many years. For many years, yep, agreed. Well, we're going to sample some of the raucous nightlife of Little Rock because it is Saturday. <laughs> it doesn't look very raucous to me. It's a Saturday late afternoon. Oh, it's a pole stop. So, see, look at all that. That must mean there's people causing trouble. Four quarter bar, here it is. Come and get it. I like this place already. <laughs> For tots. Huh? We should have brought a toy. Yeah, you're a member of uh, PETA, right? People eating tasty animals? <laughs> I've never heard that before. You never heard that? Oh, come on. Never heard that. Everybody I knows that. I'm animal lover, but I... Um, yeah, we're hanging out with some of the locals here in Little Rock. Colorful people. I had a cat and make a pit out of it. And then eat it? And, and then there's pigs, best of all, huh? Southern version of your dad, yeah. Just bitching the way he's bitching and bitching and bitching. Now, these Arkansas people are very opinionated. Huh? I would have tried to make my dad go home at this point. And I don't know that my dad had any, like, uh, I don't know. I didn't know if he had, a, had a, very much of an opinion on religion, but just bitching about things. But your dad didn't believe in religion. I don't think he had a strong opinion on it one way or the other. But no. He wouldn't have said he thinks that religion should be banned from the planet. Yeah. He was more like live and let live. Bill Murray. Just the guy with the cat. Huh? Just the guy with the cat. Just what? Just the guy with the cat. Yeah, I was wondering that myself. Uh, hmm. Well, let's head back out into the Arkansas cold. All right, our time in Little Rock is done. And um, I like the city. I was expecting a lot worse when I got here. It's actually a really nice place. It's because of the last couple of cities you've been in. Maybe it's because it's... Comparatively speaking. <laughs> yes, what I was trying to say was maybe compared. But it's still, uh, it's overall pretty nice town. <laughs> but anyway, uh, time to review the hotel. We stayed at a Wyndham right across the Arkansas River from downtown. What are your thoughts? Very positive. Um, it was really, it was really, really nice. The gym was really well equipped. Uh, it was clean. You can tell it's not brand new, the hotel itself, but they still have uh, kept it up and it's nice and clean. Uh, the breakfast was fresh. A little bit of like, maybe like the sausage and the potatoes, I think you were saying were kind of cold, but, um, but it's fresh stuff and we're always happy to get fresh stuff and not microwave stuff for breakfast. Um, so those are all my positive things. The only, Negative thing and it didn't affect us. So I'm not going to take points off But you might want to consider this if you come uh, during pool season The pool is old looking now yeah. being the middle of December and it's an outdoor pool We didn't worry about that any we weren't you know going to use the pool anyway So I'm not going to take points off for it However, if you're coming in during the pool season, you might want to check and see if they've updated it yet However, yeah. that didn't adversely affect us. So I had a, a very nice day and of course it's like two seconds away from everything it's really really yeah, really yeah. very close to everything you know the downtown area so i liked it a lot yeah i liked it a lot too it's uh, kind of got a grand old feel to it yes you can tell the hotel is old but it's got a lot of marble and pillars and it's very well maintained and kept up mm -hmm. like she said the breakfast was nice and very among the best oj ever drank Fresh eggs, fresh, loves OJ. <laughs> fresh made biscuits with uh, biscuits and gravy. Had great potato cakes, but they were cold or cool. They were, they were not, I would have loved to have those hot. It's basically the exact same kind to get at McDonald's. And I, I, I'm sorry, I like McDonald's hot uh, Everybody potato Everybody loves cakes. McDonald's breakfast. They're just like them. But Probably they, even rich people like McDonald's breakfast yeah. and, and hash browns. So. But, they, but you could tell they'd sit out in the warmer for a long time. They, you know, they should just like cook like six of them or something and put them out and keep yeah. put fresh ones out. I, I did get warm sausage and bacon, but I had to dig at the bottom, but the eggs were warm and uh, nice service meat. there. You actually had people, you know, picking up your dirty dishes and stuff. Yes. Kind of waiting on you instead of, yeah. Yeah. Has a place, has a full bar and a couple of restaurants. Uh, it's clean, um, good Wi-Fi. Like she said, the pool is very run down. You can tell that uh, they're going to have to work on that for spring. But other than that, they don't have laundry facilities. How it's not as if they advertised it, 
but it's something that we use since we're living on the road right now. So if that's important to you, they just be just so you know, they do not have laundry facilities. Yeah, they don't have laundry facilities. So and we needed to do laundry. <laughs> but of course, you can get them to do your laundry for you. But then of course you gotta have yeah. to pay for that. Yeah. Which yeah, we don't, don't do. do that. <laughs> just there's just not like coin operated ones that yeah. for the uh, guests. But anyway, nice hotel, nice part of town. Like she said, everything's close. You can practically walk. You can even walk into downtown Little Rock if you want. So yes, you can. What's your rating? Four point five. Yeah, I'm. A, I'm. That sounds solid to me. Four point five. I'm gonna agree with her. So that's our rating. We are <gasps> heading to. Are you with hot, me? Yes, we're heading to Hot Springs, Arkansas next I to can't check wait. out the. Check out the springs. So be looking for that video, and we'll see you then.